Hey everybody, this is Alex at Belade. I'm here with Dwayne from our compound USA. He came over because he has his SC1000 right here. We're gonna do an exhaust. Right now he's on the stock exhaust, but the, the reason why he's here is this, he had an exhaust before and he would call me every day, dude, I can't stand this exhaust. I can't stand this exhaust, it's so loud. So much drone, this and that. Unfortunately, he already took out the exhaust, so we can't do a, um, a review or show you guys what it sounds like because I have a decimal meter and I'm going to show the difference between the, now he's on the stock exhaust. I'm going to show the difference between the stock exhaust uh, readings and then we're going to change over to uh, our new Type S exhaust and then he's going to give us his impression. So right now we're about, what is this? 80 decibels. All right. On stock exhaust, this car is just right, left right here, left right here. So we're gonna get on the freeway and we're gonna rip it and we're gonna put the windows up and sweat in this car. Because if we put the AC on, then the decibel reading is gonna get thrown off. Idle is about 49 decibels. Okay, here we go. Okay, on the freeway. This has an intake and a test pipe on a stock exhaust. So usually the stock exhaust is about 50 pounds, give or take. I have a CR exhaust, which doesn't have these twin loops. And I think that one's a little bit lighter, but not by much. All right. You've been waiting months for this, Dwayne. Yeah, I'm excited. pipe goes on by slip fit there's a clamp good stuff cool let's get it on out with the old <laughs> it's that simple <laughs> every exhaust is like that what are they, what are they gonna so do what he can't complain so what he's saying is leave, leave this loose first mount up the whole exhaust, and then that way we adjust this so it's perfectly straight, yeah. then tighten this. Yeah, so that's your final adjustment. Here we go, coming down. Now we get to test the decibel reading. How's it sound already? It's not too loud. Right, just enough noise to hear the car more. All right, let's go do this. Okay, same thing. We were at uh, 90, about 90 decibels on the stock exhaust. Let's see how much more we increase with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I wanted. I wanted to hear the car, but not be tuned 
out by the exhaust. How about the fact that you can hear each other yeah. right now? We can just talk. <laughs> we can talk, no drone. Yeah. Okay, what RPM are you at? Okay, go in the go in the RPM where it'd be like the most drone. Like six gear. No. Six gears like at low RPM. Like three three thousand. Yeah, usually it's coasting. When yeah, you're coasting. Off, you're off throttle. You can hear like you know the. Yeah, so seventy stuff. miles an hour. Now, like, if you try to go to eighty at full yeah. throttle at sixty from six gear, full throttle right now. So this is full throttle. And we're hit eighty five, and we powered through from three thousand RPMs to four thousand RPMs. So that's like no drone right there. Yeah, that's awesome. This is an exhaust you can drive on every day and not get tired of it. I mean, this video should be a test to that because you can hear us in the video. Yeah. We're just talking. Yeah. This is typical S2000 noises. <laughs> yeah. The, the soft top latches, stuff like that, those make more noise yeah. <laughs> than this exhaust. That's good. But you can hear the sound. You get still get that sporty sound. Yeah. Is what I like. That's exactly what I was looking for. You know, previous exhausts, like, that's what they said it offered. But. It was just overwhelmingly loud, and it's not really practical for someone who wants to drive it in the street and track, you know. So this one just gives you enough of, just enough, is what this exhaust is. So, yeah, it's great. Oh, I like that you can now hear the car, you know, just give a bit more umph, but not to where it's kind of disrupting the whole driving feel, you know. Like, there's some exhaust out there that just tunes everything out, and it's just, it's all you hear, and it's just... You get tired of it, and uh, this one, I actually want to take it out for a nice drive. How's the power feel? Did it feel a difference? I mean, we're driving in traffic, so yeah, I can't say. True. Yeah, right. I don't. Yeah, not a fair answer, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I already took care of that on the dyno. I yeah, yeah. That was easy. I'm gonna go based on the dyno because my butt dyno is not as accurate as a real dyno. So. Mm -hmm. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, but yeah. All good. So basically, what everybody in the community had asked for myself included I, I you know after a while I uh, my exhaust on my uh, on my k-swap car is a three inch like bullet can exhaust and it's really loud and yeah when you're and actually when the, the exhaust is louder I'm more afraid to drive it harder yeah because I'm I don't want to annoy everyone That's and 100% yeah. true man like yeah. you want a loud exhaust when you're on the track but really like a lot of us drive our cars in the street a lot and you just have to be mindful, you know, like, you know, you're not trying to get pulled over or get the wrong attention. And something like this, you still hear it in the car, but it's not where you're disrupting the whole neighborhood or everyone around you. So, I like it. Good. Because even with the stock exhaust with the test pipe, yeah, so it, it was like, it's it not quiet. Like, yeah, it's, in, it's quiet, but like, yeah, you want to hear something more, and this is just, like, it's, it's just right. Every sound clip we've done so far is with the test pipe, so this is the loudest it's essentially supposed to get. Yeah, yeah. So that's better, you know, if you have a catalytic converter or a stock one or a high flow, yeah. it's going to be quieter than this. So this you can get online from Amazon, it's pretty cheap, it's like 15 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that. So you guys can do your own testing and tell me what you guys have on decibel reading with the different setups, the different header setups, uh, turbo, you guys have turbocharged, supercharger. You know, just tell me what, you know, feed, give me the feedback of what you guys get on decibel reading. This is just a 2.2 a .2 liter. So even the NA, the AP1, uh, the 2.0 liter might be a different pitch, which is actually the test that we did on our first car was AP1 motor. So this is AP2 motor. So, but I never did the in, inside, uh, inside cab test yet. So, thanks a lot guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for our compound. Thanks. Thanks for everything. Take care.